Talking about the Morehouse portable calibration machine again, we'll talk about setting up common shear web load cells for compression. We already have our reference standard set up in the machine, ready to go. We have the indicator that that load cell was calibrated with, important, and we have a second indicator to read the unit under test. The setup for calibrating a common shear web load cell is, is simple. You can do tension or compression. For compression, we have this ball adapter set. This will go on top of the load cell, and then there's a ball seat and this adapter that will go on the top of the machine, and of course, that ball will sit in that ball seat and center itself up so that when you're applying your load, everything stays centered and you get a good application of, of the force straight down through the, the axis, down through the load cell. Setup is simple for compression and tension. For compression, like I said, we have this ball seat that will thread into the receiver on top of the machine here. Let's thread it all the way up in there. And then on the bottom, we have a load pad surface that will go on top of the, it threads onto the top of the reference standard load cell. This is again the Morehouse Ultra Precision 2,000 pound load cell. And that threads right on top of there. That gives you a base to sit your load cell on for compression calibration. In that base, there's a hole in the center that mates with this alignment pin. Again, to keep the load cell and everything straight and in a line. This threads into the bottom of load cell. <clears throat> with these alignment plugs, it's very important when you use them in any setup. When you put it in the load cell, ensure that no threads are extended below the base of the load cell. You want the load cell, of course, to sit on its own base. If it's out like this at all, and you will be loading on those threads and it will jam that into your load cell and you may have to replace your load cell. Sometimes we can get them out, sometimes we can't. 2K load cell, we may be able to get it out of there. Like I said, once that's in there, that pin will align with the hole in that base block right in the middle. There we go. Like that. That keeps everything in a line here. And then we have the ball adapter that threads onto the top of the load cell, like so. Just threads right on the top of it there. That's an aluminum collar that goes down over the threads of the load cell. And then the ball just sits on top of it there and is able to move and center itself. For compression calibration, we got the ball seat in here. We got the ball adapter there. Everything's connected together and in a line. You have to lower this stage beam to wherever you, you need it. It's adjustable incrementally. To do that, pull out on these retention pins and then you simply slide it. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> when it lines up, when the pin lines up with the holes, it will lock in place and then your stage beam will be in place and ready for testing. Ensure that those pins are locked in place, not like this one that's hanging out a little bit there. Ensure that it is locked in place before you start applying load, otherwise you're just gonna push that stage beam up and you'll never get a force applied. To do the calibrations, we have a good setup here. Everything's in line. For compression, you're gonna turn the crank to the right, and that's gonna raise that jack screw, push both of these load cells up, and start applying force as it takes up the slack on the top up here. And then, of course, you're reading your force standard against the unit under test on the display to make sure you're, you're getting the readings that you want and you can do your testing and calibrations as is needed. That's compression setup in a portable calibration machine. Easy setup, easy to use. You can take it anywhere you need it, put anything you need in there up to the 2,000 pound capacity and do your calibrations quickly and easily. Thank you for watching this video on the PCM. We hope you found it interesting and we're happy to answer any questions. Please feel free to contact us. It's time to minimize your measurement risk. We're the ones to choose more.